Tonga e roto i tēnei roto. Uh, nō reira mihi nui ki a koutou, uh, e, e kohana taku ngākou, kua tai mai koutou, uh, e kohana taku ngākou e kite kite ki a koutou, kua tai mai koutou. Nō reira tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, uh, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, first of all, what we will do in the first instance is we will thank our Creator for everything that He has offered us, um, for us to be here on this earth. Um, and we will um, connect with our ancestors through that process. So our minister here will take care of that. Following that process, we are going to um, have this cousin of ours who's just arrived from somewhere overseas, but has, um, has um, volunteered to be a cousin. She will um, have a, a korero about the fishes, the purpose of the fish, why we've gotten the fish in for the reasons we have, and then she'll talk to you about the weeds that have created this process to happen and why it's important that these weeds be eradicated as quickly as they possibly can and then from there we will have the transfer of the fish and we will um, encourage anyone who wishes to participate in that process to get in the water and have a go kia ora if I go to your home today, how do you talk with your way to top of me on the head of the fire? We brought this fish, those are when they grow very big. About up to 20, 25 kilos and a meter long. Yes. And they live up to, um, the kids ask me how long do they live, they live up to 20 years. And in their na native land, they live less because they grow faster. And they, uh, because of the temperature, warmer here in New Zealand they grow slower so they don't breed in the wild so we have to breed them so, so we at Maharangi Technical Institute we are a hatchery so we bring mums and dads and we inject them with hormone with that hormone they want to breed so we are controlling the, the breeding so we take them mums and dads during the season which is between October end of October or November to uh, February, we go to the farm, we bring the mums and dads, especially the good one, we've got good eggs, and then we put, put them in, in tanks and we treat them with hormone over three nights. On the fourth day, we come in the morning, strip them, take the eggs out of the female and the sperm out of the male, mix them together, put them in incubators. 28 hours later, they hatch. And they actually, what they when they hatch, they go up and then gallop some air to follow their air sac or swimming bladder and then they start swimming like, like normal fish. So why they call them grass cow? Because they eat grass. And that's why they've been introduced in many countries all over the world, from America to Europe to Asia, many countries. Because their native land is China and uh, uh, Russia. They live in the Amur River. Uh, that's their uh, natural land, and uh, but then they've been introduced to many countries in the world because they control weeds, and they've been proven that they are very efficient in, into it. And it's actually because it's biological. You are not introducing, for instance, poison to your water. You could poison those, but that's not good because you would poison other things in the water. So you'd rather use something natural, which is biology. That's why they call it 
biological control. And because they are herbivore, which means they only eat, they are vegetarian, so they eat a lot of food to make this big fish. So they need lots of food to eat, and that's why they are efficient into controlling the weed. Thank you all very much everybody um, for gathering um, this morning. Um, it's really been um, an awesome experience to actually go through um, and to have you all as part of the whole process of what we're trying to establish here has been awesome. To you uh, Marty and to your children from the school, thank you very much for participating and for um, just allowing us as parents grandparents and kaitiaki of this area to share um, what, we, what our visions are with our children. Ngā mihi ki a koutou ngā tamariki mā, pai rawa tō mahi i tēnei ata. Nō reira, tēnā rā koutou katoa. Um, to the hau kainga, um, thank you all so very much for supporting this whole kaupapa, um, for being here this morning with us and for sharing um, this process with us also, um, and for being understanding about what this whole kaupapa was about. It was about the eradication of an invasive weed. Thank <laughs> you. 